Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for my first ever Transformers action figure review. And I'm really excited about this because for some reason lately I've been obsessed with this Siege War for Cybertron line from Hasbro. And I'll be honest with you, I was never a big Transformers guy. It was very popular when I was young. I think it came out in 1984. I was born in 1985. But for some reason, it wasn't one of the things that stuck with me throughout the years. I'm sure I had a couple of Transformers when I was little, but to be honest with you, I can't even remember. You know, I th I've always thought it was cool, but but I was just never crazy into it. Then the movies came out and I pretty much like lost all interest. But then recently at San Diego Comic-Con, I went to the Hasbro breakfast and they gave out a bag with a bunch of their figures from their different lines. And there was a red alert from the Siege line. And you know, I thought it looked cool. So I opened it up and played with it and I liked it a lot. So then it made me want to go buy a couple more. And next thing you know, I have a bunch of them. And then now here we are. So just right off top, you have to forgive my ignorance about Transformers in general and about the character. I know a little bit about this character. I know that he from a team called the Wreckers and they sound awesome they kind of sound like X-Force or something but I was very excited when I saw this in stores because I think this is one of the first new ones that, that has come out since I became interested in this stuff so it's really cool but anyways so what we're looking at today is the Siege War for Cybertron Deluxe Class Impactor starting with the packaging you are able to see the figure right here you get a very good look at it through the window box I like all the different artwork and stuff we have going on here it looks very cool I love this artwork on the side of the box Impactor looks badass right there and then on the back you're able to see the figure and then you could see him in his uh, transform mode here and at first this kind of confused me because I thought these parts came with these figures but they don't these are like additional things you could buy to put along with the figures so that's kind of misleading if you don't know what you're getting into here and right here it tells you how many steps it takes to transform him from robot mode into vehicle mode and 14 that sounds uh, good to me because that's not very many and uh, like I said I'm I'm new to this stuff here and we have some more artwork over here that looks awesome and I I think this line is based on the upcoming Netflix show and I can't wait to check that out. But anyways, that's enough babbling. Let's take this figure out of the box and take a look. Okay, so here we go, Impactor right out of the box. And my first impression of this figure is that I like it a lot. He's a very cool figure. He's a lot of fun to mess around with. He has some really good articulation and he just looks really cool. And when it comes to Transformers, my first concern is how cool they look in robot mode and then followed by how cool they look in their vehicle mode. And then my third concern is how easy the process is to get from robot mode to vehicle mode. But to be honest with you, with some of these Transformers figures, I transformed them once and then I put them back in robot mode and then I haven't tried to transform them again because, you know, I really don't, I'm, I'm not just, I'm not a big fan of vehicle modes just in general. Um, I'm, I'm just more into the robot look. But anyways, yeah, look at the sculpting work on this guy. There's a lot of nice details. He does look kind of plastic. I feel like a wash in this figure would have gone a long way. But I know Transformers fans really love the bright colors and stuff like that, so a wash might have taken away. But I would have liked for it to look a little bit more realistic. I just think it comes off a little plasticky. But still, it does look good. There's a lot of nice details here. Check it out. I like that there's some different color yellows here on the legs. One thing I'm not crazy about is the hollow pieces on Transformers figures, but in this case, it's pretty much his, lay, his lower legs that are hollow, and that's about it, so I could definitely live with that. And then on this side, we have some nice sculpting, and then we have like this metal type of uh, wear, I guess, or like some damage, battle damage, I guess you could say. But overall, the figure looks really nice. There's a, They put a lot of details into these guys. And it's crazy because there's not that much room for reuse when it comes to Transformers figures. They definitely find ways to reuse sculpts and stuff like that. Um, repainted versions of the same characters or, you know, similar characters with new paint jobs. Just like any other line that Hasbro does. But for the most part, it's crazy how much details they put into the individual sculpts for these figures. And then you do have the Autobot logo here on his chest. And it's kind of small, but you could definitely see it. That looks cool. And then his head sculpt is really nice. I love this design. His helmet kind of reminds me of, like, not a Viking helmet, but you know those kind of helmets that, um, like, Leonidas wears with the mohawk type of thing in the middle? That's rem That reminds me of. And that is awesome, especially given what I know about the character. It just It seems fitting. And I know this guy didn't appear in the G1 cartoon, but the face definitely feels G1 inspired, especially the actual face itself, the silver part. And then you have the red eyes in there that look cool. Yeah, I love that head sculpt, man. That's really nice. And one complaint I do have about the figure is this thing does not swivel, so it's kind of stuck in place right there. This little shoulder cannon goes up like that, so that's cool, but it doesn't swivel at all, so that kind of sucks. Oh, back here we have some more hollow pieces, but you know, that's okay. It's not a big deal. It's on the back of the figure anyways. But yeah, good stuff. So let's take a look at some of the accessories that he comes with, because he does come with like a gun here. And the gun is cool because you could just kind of put it in any one of these little ports that 
are all over the figures and you have them everywhere so if even if you don't want him to hold his gun you could throw it back here call it a day so there you go and the gun I mean you know again it looks a little plasticky and stuff but still it's cool and then one thing that's really cool on the impactor here or on impactor the impactor but yeah we have this little drill bit kind of thing <laughs> I guess you could call it and you could stick it into his hand there and originally in the box his hand was like this you know so he has a fist and you could just flip his fist around and stick the uh, the impact thing in there and it works on both hands obviously so that's really cool but yeah, I'm really enjoying this figure, man. And again, it's because I did some research on the character, so this character just kind of stood out to me. He seems like he's a savage. I guess he got kicked out of the Wreckers for executing uh, Decepticons. And I, I really didn't know that Transformers got that hardcore, so <laughs> that was like a surprise to me. But yeah, this figure is really cool. I'm really enjoying messing around with it so far. For some size comparisons, here's Impactor alongside the Siege War for Cybertron Soundwave and the Siege War for Cybertron Ironhide. And I like these two figures a lot too. These are definitely some of my favorites so far. And then next up, we have him alongside the Siege War for Cybertron Red Alert and one of his record teammates, which is Springer. And that figure comes from the Transformers, like, Thrilling 30 line, I think it was called. Thanks to everyone on Instagram that helped me out with that because I had no idea what line that figure was from. I bought it at a toy show for, like, 15 bucks. I thought it looked cool, so I picked it up. Turns out it was a good deal, so I'm happy about that. And I do have the Siege Springer. I just haven't opened them yet. And I'm not even sure if anyone cares what these Transformers look like next to other figures, but for the sake of unparalleled universe tradition here he is next to the marvel legends bucky cap and marvel legends pizza spider-man and then now here we have him alongside the hasbro lightning collection green ranger and the figure arts leonardo so now we're going to go ahead and try to do the transformation luckily he comes with instructions and i know the back of the box said it's 14 steps but once i was looking at this it looks like it's actually 19 steps what part of the game is that Kind of misleading there, Hasbro. But anyways, I'm really happy that it does come with instructions because if not, I'd be completely lost. I'm curious if like, you know, old school Transformers fans are able to figure these things out without instructions. I'm sure they are. But um, yeah, for me, I need these instructions. So I'm happy they're there. But let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and do this step by step. So step one is to turn his head 180 degrees. Step two is to flip this part open. Step three is to bring his head down into his torso. Step four is to close this back up. Step five is to flip this this way. And then for step six, we flip the figure around and then we bring this chest compartment up. Step seven is to bring his arms up and have them in front of him like this. Eight is to flip his hands into his forearms. Step nine is to swivel these around on both sides there. And step 10 is to attach the gun to the underside of his arm. And then step 11 is to bring his arms underneath this chest piece here. And then the chest piece just pegs in there, but we'll do that after, after we bring this one down too. So this all pegs together. The gun pegs into the two hands. And step 12 was actually to peg this into the arms. So there we go. 13 is to bend him at that torso joint. 14 is to bring his feet out like this. And then for step 15, we bring these things down. Step 16 is just to clip that together. 17 is to bring these guys back. There we go. Same thing on this side. There we go. And then step 18 is to bring these things back into here. And they do clip on there somehow. Let's see here. There we go. That one went right in. There we go. They clip in like that. For the very final step, which is step 19, we just plug this into here. And bam, there we have it, Impactor in his Cybertronian vehicle form. And this thing is really cool. And from what I understand, this character doesn't have like an Earth-based vehicle mode. So that's why this thing doesn't look like an actual vehicle that you'd see on Earth. It's like alien-based and stuff like that. So I think this looks awesome. And I like how uh, this detail that we saw earlier on the figure right ends up being right here where the, the, you know, the vehicle would be driving. So it looks like it's, um, you know, kind of messed up from driving around. So that's that's awesome and then you still have all these holes exposed so you could like move the weapons around put them in different spots you know that's awesome then you have these things in front whatever they are but uh yeah this thing looks cool i love the fact that it was simple enough to get to this form because if there's too many steps or it's too complicated 
I'm intimidated by it at this point. Hopefully that'll change in the future and I'll be more welcoming to the more complicated uh, transformations. But for now, I love when it's simple just like this. So I'm very happy with this. And the articulation on this figure is actually pretty good. I feel like he has more articulation than some of the other Siege figures. And the reason why is because some points of his transformation actually increase the amount of articulation he has. So that's really cool when that works out. There was a similar situation with Soundwave. I know that's not the case with a lot of these Siege figures, but I'm happy that that's the case here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it here first off his head is on a little ball joint so it can move side to side and he could look up to about right there but then he does have this little piece here that kind of flips open and then you could bring his head back a little bit more but you don't want to go too far back because then it looks unnatural but um you know you could bring it back just a little bit by shifting that thing i think that still looks pretty good can't really go down at all it's kind of stuck right there. It has a little bit of tilt, and as I mentioned, it has side to side. And then for the torso, he does have a like a swivel right here in his mid torso. And then what's really cool here is because of his transformation, he actually has like a <laughs> like an ab crunch. Look at that. <laughs> he does have a big old gap in the back here. But you know, in certain poses, that's not gonna matter. I mean, that's gonna look you could get him into some really cool poses using that crunch. So that that's cool when it works out that way. And then for the arms, they can go all the way around. They could come out to the side. They could come all the way up to right here. And again, part of this transformation allows for a little bit more articulation. So, I mean, you could go like that. That can be useful depending on like what angle you're taking a picture from. And then he does have a like a bicep swivel. He has a single jointed elbow on both sides. There's no swivel or anything at the hand. I kind of wish there was. And then for the legs, they could come out to the side like that. They could go back all the way forward all the way then you have a like a upper thigh swivel I guess and then his knees pretty much bend to 90 and that's about it and then his feet are really interesting because again part of the transformation allows for him to have like ankle rockers and that seems to be the case on a lot of the siege figures but for him once you start moving his ankles you know things kind of start shifting apart and stuff like that so I just like to leave them like this they're in a position where you could kind of put them in a stance you know and it's kind of worked out there's no problem with him like standing up or anything but uh, yeah like I said he has really good articulation and because of some of the things going on here it feels like he has more articulation than some of the other siege figures so that is awesome stuff so overall i really like this figure he's a lot of fun to play with he's easy to transform he looks incredible in bot mode and he looks pretty cool in vehicle mode and it's just a really nice figure the sculpting work is really good and i love the colors the purple and orange are incredible especially the purple and the articulation is awesome on this guy and that's really the reason why i like him so much some of the other figures aren't as articulated and i like them too but when one comes along and it has a lot of great articulation it it really makes me happy and it makes me like the figures a lot but yeah yeah, this little ab crunch right here that, that really took this figure to the next level for me i know it's not really an ab crunch but it works as an ab crunch so i'm happy but yeah man this is a really cool figure this is a very fun line and i'm just really enjoying it so i think that's it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this review please let me know if you'd like to see some more transformers review on my channel here um you know right now i'm all hyped up on this line so <laughs> i'm probably going to do at least a couple more reviews just because i enjoy talking about these things but i really hope that you enjoyed it i hope that it was helpful and I hope I, um, you know, didn't embarrass myself to, to all you hardcore Transformer fans out there. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. That's it. Peace.